How to be his number one priority, not his second option. 7 Ways to Stand Out from Other Women If you're dating a man who makes you feel like an option and not a priority, it's time to switch things up. Of course, this doesn't have to be an immediate reason for you to dump him, but simply try to change your ways and see how he reacts to it. Indeed, you are familiar with the saying, don't make someone a priority when you are their option. This is a very profound and relatable saying you should keep in mind in such situations. When you are a man's second option and not his priority, you think that you and all you do matter, when in reality that is not true for him. You don't matter as much as he matters to you, and that is a situation that needs to be changed. Instead of getting his full love and attention, you get bits and pieces of it when he feels like it. He pays attention to you when it's convenient for him, or he has nothing better to do. And unfortunately, you are only hanging on the hopes that things will change and he will recognize your value and make you a priority. This is limbo, and it is a really painful place to be in when you only have your hopes to reside on. With that said, here are the seven ways to stand out among other women and become his priority instead of just a second option. Before we begin, subscribe to Modern Love Potion because every video you watch will transform you into a woman high value men can't resist. So click or tap the subscribe button now to not miss out. Number one, set healthy boundaries. While it may not be fun or feel natural to say no, limits create a safe place for everyone. If you go out of your way to please him, tiptoe around him and only do what he wants, you may be enabling a one-sided relationship and allowing him to get comfortable taking advantage of you. If you want to be valued as an equal partner, making him work a little doesn't hurt. If he knows he doesn't have easy access to trample on you like a doormat, he'll be forced to either step up or step out instead. Late night combos almost always exist just to lead to pillow talk. If you want to be taken seriously, you need to have a real conversation where you discuss topics and take time to get to know one another. You don't need the distraction of just being a booty call. Take away from the quality moments where you could be meaningfully bonding. Number two, make yourself and your needs a priority. I know it might sound counterintuitive to you, but the truth is people like you because you make them the priority and they don't want to have to make you a priority. By indulging yourself, doing what you want, when you want, how you want, even if you are alone while doing it, you are really carving out your own dominion. The people who want to make you a priority will come to your kingdom, or they can play elsewhere. If you are a very giving person, you will have a hard time with this. If necessary, get a pet or a garden going that needs you to make them a priority. You will fulfill your need to be giving in a healthy way that doesn't set up these relationships where you are second best. But truly, you need to start living for yourself, not for another person. Number three, do not settle for less. You are not desperate, so stop acting like it. Loneliness is not an excuse. The world is filled with amazing things to take an interest in. When you decide that you will not accept being anything but a priority, you will switch up your thinking and your behavior will follow. You will stop responding immediately to your partner's messages, calls, or any other request of theirs because you are sending them a message you are not as available to them as you once were. You are taking your power back. Trust me, they will notice. Number four, make dates public. The goal here is to set your relationship up to be genuine. Just coming over to hang out instead of investing and in going on dates is lazy and thoughtless. It also allows him to just pop in and out when it's convenient. Make it known that you value your time. If he wants to be in your presence, he needs to be intentional. Hey, are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Make sure you like and subscribe to Modern Love Potion because every video you watch will transform you into a woman high value men can't resist and you'll never miss our videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you have a story you want to share with me or other people watching this video in the Modern Love Potion community, write a comment below. Okay, so where were we? 
Number 5. Make him wait for your attention. This one is hard for most people. Some of us always have the phone with us, so you see and respond to people's messages immediately most of the time. But doing this can make you seem overeager and can affect power between you two. If you're always quick, but he takes his time or has moments when he goes off the grid, then you place yourself on his time for communication. Make him wait so he appreciates hearing from you. With that said, don't be afraid to be busy and stop being so available to him. Be okay with turning it on a date or not answering a phone call. You need him to realize he could just be your option. A spot in your life needs to be earned and valued. You don't freely give away your time with no expectation of reciprocity, and you're not just going out of your way to rearrange your schedule to fit him in as he wishes whenever he asks you to. If you're doing these things, it's only because you're both committed to one another and equally accommodating. You want to convey that you're not desperate. Number 6. Avoid being needy. By not being needy, you attract him with your independence and your confidence. Be responsible for yourself. Pay your own bills. Be self-sufficient. Contribute to an equal partnership. Don't be a user. Act like you want to be in a relationship and not be an adult adoptee. It's good to support one another, but realistically, there are some things you should take care of on your own or have family do for you. Unless you're married or in a long-term committed relationship, you shouldn't be putting that much pressure on him. Getting to know one another is the time you should be having fun. Number 7. Be interesting and work on yourself. Be funny. Have specific interests. Be passionate about something. If you don't have a life going for yourself, you're just going to end up latching onto him and sucking his life out of him. You're still your own person when you're in a relationship. Complacency is not attractive, and it's quicksand to losing someone's respect. Getting into a relationship shouldn't be your end-all be-all in life. Keep growing as an individual, even while with someone else. All this being said, no matter what you do, just know you will be a priority to someone who's genuinely interested. If they're not trying to prioritize you, move on because the match is not right and you're wasting your time. You can't make someone who doesn't want it to change their mind. They should see and value your worth right away, not having it proven to them. You're better than that and deserve more. People change their behavior when they feel they need to change it because they are not getting what they want. At first, they will continue to behave in the way to which they have become accustomed. But when you don't flinch, they will. If you allow your partner to treat you as an option, they will continue to do so. When you shift your beliefs and behaviors, you challenge their behavior. So expect some pushback. But if you are resolute and disciplined, they will change. They will have no other choice as you are no longer participating in the idea that you are an option. You are a priority. Set clear boundaries with yourself first. Your partner will ask you why you are different. Be firm. Know why being respected and having your boundaries respected is important to you. If you want to know how likely your chances are to get back with your ex, click our X back quiz in the first description below. Also, if you want to see our best videos, Click the videos on the screen now. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any of our videos, and I'll see you next week.